Hey everybody, I'm Larry Trexer with Sim Products, and today we're going over everything you need to know about panel bonding. In the early to mid 80s, vehicle manufacturers faced with meeting strict CAFE standards started using different substrates on their vehicles. These substrates, which include SMC, fiberglass, and plastics, were lightweight, cost effective, but they couldn't be welded, thus the need for panel bonding adhesives. So it's important to note that when we talk about panel bonding that we're talking about cosmetic panels only, not structural. So what are cosmetic panels? When you look at a car, every surface you see is what we call cosmetic. However, some surfaces bolt on like the bumpers and front fenders. This leaves the door, roof, and quarter panels. These panels are replaceable without causing any damage to the vehicle's structural integrity and are usually either welded or glued on from the manufacturer, and sometimes both. The adhesive used for replacing these panels isn't anything like the glue that we used in elementary school. The strength of these adhesives can pick up an average sized vehicle with just one square inch of bonded surface. The adhesive we recommend for this process is called multi-purpose panel adhesive. This epoxy-based adhesive will work on steel, aluminum, SMC, fiberglass, and almost any surface that is clean and has a grind mark. Multi-purpose panel adhesive gives the user 90 minutes of working time at 70 degrees and has a set time or declamp time of 4 hours. Multi-purpose panel adhesive also has glass beads to control the bond line thickness of the adhesive. Door skin and SMC adhesive can also be used for the same substrates. Door skin and SMC adhesive has a faster working time and set time and does not have the glass beads as they are not necessary for smaller panel replacements. Additionally, both multi-purpose panel adhesive and door skin and SMC adhesive can be resistance welded through during the product's working time. Now let's walk you through the process. First is the removal of the damaged panel. Drill out existing welds with a spot cutter, and on door skins, as shown here, grind the edge of the hem flange. Once the panel is removed, dry fit the new panel to ensure proper fit. Clean all bonding surfaces with SimSov or low VOC surface cleaner. Grind the flanges on the vehicle and the new panel with a 36 grit grinding disc at low RPM to ensure a proper grind mark. Now blow off with clean, dry, compressed air. Always purge the cartridge first to remove any air pockets. Then apply the static mixer and apply a test bead of product to ensure uniformity of the product. Apply a bead of adhesive to both bonding surfaces and spread evenly with a spreader. Attach the panel and clamp to hold in place. In the case of this door skin, once the skin is clamped into position, begin to hammer over the hem flange. Remove any excess adhesive while still wet and replace sound dampening products and corrosion protectants. Once the adhesive is set, clamps can be removed and the panel can be seam sealed and prepped for refinish. Multi-purpose panel adhesive and door skin and SMC adhesive take all the guesswork out of choosing the right product for the right application at the right time. SIM is the right choice.